All right, guys, how's it going? I'm back here today where I did my uh, last metal detecting video. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it up above. Um, I said below. Fuck it, I'll put it below as well. <laughs> I'm actually just waiting for Panda. Um, as I said last time I was here, um, yeah, I, I wanted to come back and explore this area a bit better with Panda. So just waiting on him to rock up. And yeah, we've got hours to spend out here. So got the metal detector, and I know there's a bunch of cars around here that I missed last time. So gonna find those with Panda, who is the expert, the aficionado on uh, on cars. So he'll be able to tell you all about them. There's a few little spots up the mountain here that I want to check out the metal detector. So let's wait for Panda Bear to rock up. And just have a look at this shit. Like this is just down by the river. Obviously, people just come here and drive their cars down here and just chuck all their crap out. Like there has to be at least 20 tires here, right next to the river. <laughs> like what type of fuck do you have to be to do that? But the same type of people that uh, hoard toilet paper. Is that who I think it is? It is the panda bear. All right. As soon as I start recording, every time the cockatoos go wild, we're heading up that hill because there's another sort of shack thing up there, like uh, I found in the last video. So uh, as panda takes a sip of his hydration, <laughs> we're gonna head up the hill. All right. Well, looks like someone's uh, trashed this place. Not beer cans. We don't want beer cans. This oh, is the house of mad lads. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we'll get the uh, the today. I can't even talk. God, that little that heat. Oh God, I'm not going to stop it. That hill was so steep. I feel some McDonald's breaking. Lovely. I guess we'll get the detector out and have a look. We never know. Here's a, yeah. It looks like some kids have been up here. There's a couch. <laughs> There's some nangs. Lovely. It was actually kind of weird. I, just looking at it, it looks like some sort of shack when we're at, at the bottom there, but yeah, looks like there was definitely something here once upon a time, but we might as well get the detector out and have a look, you never know. Hose left behind, only true OGs know what that's for. Well, this is what worries me because I figured out the other day in a video that I filmed which will never be released, <laughs> just because I found nothing but beer cans, that uh, the beer cans pick up the same reading on here as a coin so i mean i'm still gonna dig either way because if i if it is a coin and i think it's a beer can i'll kick myself so but i mean like there's a beer can right there it goes nuts for it so it picks it up as a coin so there's something here anyway but we'll have a dig all right there we go first find a big old nail the size of that thing but uh i'd say there's gonna be a few nails around here thanks to this all this timber lying around but who knows? We've got to dig. Yeah, I got asked in the last video which detector I'm using. It's the GoFind 22. Um, it's just like their base model. I ordered it from uh, uh, Anaconda, a camping uh, camping store here in Australia. But I just dug up another nail just there. Nice big one. Look at that. Huge. That's, uh, I might head around and see what we can find. Covered up my hole. Always cover up your holes. All right, well, absolutely nothing but nails and a large bolt found here. The worst part is I miss Panda falling over on camera. Yeah. You absolutely ate shit. <laughs> it, was, it was a classic like straight up and up. He slipped on that soul. piece of board down there and just straight slid down the hill and I missed it. Yeah, Damn it. Yeah. All right, well, we're gonna start heading towards the place where I found that those pieces of the saddle. Um, and I, I rushed it last time I was out there, so hopefully we'll be able to find something. All right, well, we're bas basically back to the uh, original little place where I found those parts of the horse saddle, so. <laughs> only true OGs. <laughs> only true OGs remember that video yeah. from two videos ago. <laughs> but I mean, like I saw this last time as well. There's oh, some sort of oh, yeah. some sort of dug out there. So who knows what's in there? But I mean, yeah, just up there is where the uh, where I found the parts of the saddle. So I guess we'll comb this area and hopefully come up with something other than nails. All right. Well, we uh, we just ran the detector over that. Forgot to film any of it, but probably lucky I did because. Uh, it, uh, it came with absolutely zero, zero readings, <laughs> so, yeah. A mattress that looks like a cheese sandwich? Oh, I was looking for one of them. What do you know? It kind of does look like a weird sandwich. Kind of looks like that sandwich Homer ate in The Simpsons when he got all sick. <laughs> That's gross. Probably, probably make you just sick. Ew. Well, here we are, back at the, uh... Actually, you know what? I don't remember that stump being on the ground, but I could be wrong. That one just there. 
yeah, or well, well, came around because, yeah, as I said, I rushed myself uh, through here last time after I found that piece. I basically just put it in my bag and ran. <laughs> but yeah, we've got a fair bit of time to spend out here, so <sighs> coins, please, something. I have absolutely no idea what this was. Obviously, that roof there was up, up top, so as I well, there's like posts, there's like been cut out to the posts that look like like built it to a certain height, but then you look at those posts and this, this thing is up higher. So. Yeah, definitely. So, whether they used to keep animals in here or something, but uh, maybe we might find more parts of that saddle, I guess. And this is the exact spot where I found the uh, found the piece of the saddle, which is basically right near where Panda's foot is. That hole was already there over there, but it's like a stump post. Getting a getting a reading here too, so come on, baby, let's find something. That's, you, that's a hand cut nail. Yeah, it does look like a horseshoe nail, doesn't it? Mm. Damn, that was our first find in this hole. Look how big the hole is. <laughs> yeah, we've dug a massive hole, but we're pulling out all these old stones that are all really close together. So Might be a floor we're thinking that's like a flooring or some sort of foundation, but they're all really close together. Crazy. I oh, just found this massive piece of steel, but I think, from memory, this is <laughs> the piece of steel that I found in the last time I was here. That's, uh, out of this. Yeah, I should have kept it, but I think I've just, I got so excited when I pulled out the coin thing, <laughs> I left it on the ground, but I'll stick it right there on that rock so we don't forget it. All right, well, we got something right there. Let's try and get this out, eh? I wonder what that is. There we go. Oh, <laughs> oh no, That's it's another, another, one of those, um... another one, a piece of the... Saddle. Saddle, I think, yeah. I'm not too sure. I need to speak to someone who knows something about horses. <laughs> but, I mean, that could be part of anything, really, couldn't it? But oh, It could be a like, harness of some kind, but it's, it's most it's, likely an animal. Yeah, something to do with farming or animals. Well, but, we are in some kind of stable. Yeah, for sure. But, um, yeah, we'll bag that up too. Keep it right here on the rock. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> well, we can now add another massive, massive nail to this... Uh, these parts of this uh, saddle or whatever it was. So uh, that is a big old nail again. And that's a really old nail too. God knows how long that's been underground for, but we're just gonna cover up all our holes and probably head out to find some old cars, get some good picks. And we've got some we've got some trash down here. Hey, it's really cold down here. What the hell? It's like way colder down here. Oh my God, there's like, how the hell did they do that? <laughs> Chopped in half. From the look of it, that looks like an FC Holden. An FC Holden. So probably a 59. Damn. Like around. There's like a badge 57. on there. Can you see that badge? I'll probably say General Motors. Yep, General Motors Holden. General Motors Holden. No, I won't say exactly what it is. Oh, yeah, it is the FB. FB? Yeah. There you go. Look at us. It's half a car. Look at us in the bush. There's the other half there. Yeah. Oh, that's the back, of it. back half at least. Go, look at that. That's one half of a car. We'll see if we can find some more. Sure Up that way is where I found those other cars in the last video, so. Oh, still got his glove box. <laughs> still got his glove box. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, it does too. What the hell? Of all things to still have. For some reason my phone decided to turn off. That's great. That's uh yeah, obviously someone's cut that in half. They were uh they were desperate to get something out of it. This is, so this is a different car back here? Yeah, so this looks like, as it's a bit misleading because it's actually facing on its nose. All right. So um, that's an old, like, probably an old truck cab. Or a ute cab or something like that. Yeah. Weird. Uh, I reckon we keep heading that way. It's very stinky down here. Something fucking stinks, yeah, mate. Something smells and it ain't me. A fart. And it ain't you. <laughs> Something's out here with us. It could be Bigfoot. Oh god, don't say that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> this is just bizarre how many car parts are just like half pieces of cars. I can see like every step we take further down the path, I can see more halved cars. Old shoe. Yikes. A lot of uh, look, there's, there's like a door right there. Car door. It's actually really hard to say. It blends in so well. Man, something stinks. Oh, I can see another car. <sighs> something really stinks down here. <laughs> and I'm 100% sure it's not the fellas. Uh, maybe that, yeah, we is following us. Oh man, there's two cars here. Ooh, baby. 
oh shit, I can see at least three or four down here. And this one's been crushed by that tree. How cool does that look? Oh, we're gonna get some nice photos. <laughs> oh man, look at that tree. Doesn't look like it happened all that long ago, really. Wow, look at that. The forward angular. So you remember the angular is actually from the Harry Potter films. <laughs> You're telling me this is Ron Weasley's? Shit. Damn. I can't believe that tree, man. Oop, I just slipped around and I do not want to see myself. Yeah, have a look where this tree is. Absolutely smashed it. Yeah, there's not much room in this old car. Apparently, so there's a British. British motor, so they tend to be a bit smaller. Look at that bumper on the ground there. Oh, chrome bumper. That is so cool. This thing is smashed. It looks like it even had like pink interior. And my phone keeps turning on and off. I'll tell you what, something spooky going on around here. God damn, look at this. Holy crap. God, I can't even remember where exactly I was last time I was here. Somewhere up there. But, jeez, look at that. There's at least one, two, three, four, five cars here. Six, even. <laughs> jeez. What have we got here, Panda, you reckon? That is actually would have been a wagon. Oh, yeah? yeah. And what do you reckon that thing is? Uh, I was thinking it's probably an FJ. That uh, FJ? Yeah, and then these two I think are the FXs, so they're probably 1948 build. That's about 1950, 51. Man, that's cool. Look at that. For a second, I got excited. I thought it was a Packard, but I, mean, I could be wrong still, but the front pretty much says it kind of looks like it'd be a, um, an FJ. But... So if any of this information is wrong, blame Panda. Or, yeah, or you I'm, comment. Yeah, I'm just guessing this on the fly. It's just from memory. <laughs> no, it's better than me, mate. I don't know nothing. But that is so cool. Far out. If you actually look at the um the back door on that one there, it's still got um STP, which is like a um a, a racing like yeah company. yeah right there. STP. My God. Look at this. Of course, the motors are never in there, are they? <laughs> it's a uh, steering wheels. Steering wheel's half in there at least. Man, that's incredible. I love how the chrome always survives. I love abandoned cars, man. I love abandoned cars. Actually, you know what? This might actually not be. I don't think this is a Holden at all. You don't think? No. Panda's doubting his, uh, his Holden knowledge. Oh, well, if, if you guys know in the comments what this is, then... Let us know, surely someone does. Look at the spider that's made uh, made itself at home. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh man, I just can't believe these cars are out here. The amount of times we've actually, like I've, you know, Benny Panda both grew up in this area. You're just, you're still discovering this sort of stuff out here. <laughs> All this time later. It's amazing. This is the stuff I love. I love old cars. I love taking photos of them mostly. <laughs> Chucking those up on Instagram, which I will be when this video comes out. Oh, it's upside down, isn't it? <laughs> There's sort of pedals at the roof. I'm like, what the hell? Damn, this is absolutely just death valley of cars, isn't it? I guess we'll keep heading up the hill. Who knows what else we're going to find? At least I know that old Tirana is up there. Being overrun with ravens now. They've decided to start following us. Man, whatever's something's been digging here, man. Look at that. Jesus. Guys, a lot of ravens. Look at them all. One, two, three. Fuck, they're everywhere. Shit, we're surrounded. It's pretty spooky back here. Oh, look at them all. They're all on that tree. It's a lot of digging. So it looks like a paw print, that. Definitely looks like a dog or something. <laughs> Definitely a big for it. We're convinced. Those birds are still following us. I'm scared. There's <laughs> birds down that way that are kicked off now. 
Sharp Snapchat. It's just so quiet around here other than these birds. They're not happy. <laughs> Look at them. Jeez, they're a fair size, aren't they? Yeah, I know. They're, they're massive. I don't know. I don't I've never heard a crow make that noise before. Oh, there's big dog prints. That's what they are. But this is where I was the other, the other day. There's the car, one of the cars there. Actually, I actually don't know if I filmed this one because every now and then the, the audio cuts out in the GoPro and it cut out in this one. Yeah, it's pretty crazy how they managed to get the cars in here. Like, we've just walked through some pretty pretty dense shrub to uh, to get up here. But um, yeah, these cars have probably been sitting out here for, God, who knows how long, 30, 40 years. But yeah, these are the cars that I showed you last time in the video. But I can keep heading further down into the bush, into this into this gully here. I mean, all I'm seeing around is uh, old cars, wombat shit, and who knows, the occasional... I don't know if it's a dog print or it's actually a wombat print. It's, I'm literally still following it the whole way down here. All these, uh, all these little diggings all the way down. I reckon it's probably a wombat. Here's that Tirana that I filmed last time. Which is actually really cool because my grandpa had a Tirana. And it was like the same colour as this one. Look at that. Oh, I know. I know. But same colour, everything. It was, it was that light green, dark green sort of finish on it. What have we got? Another motor. Or a motor. Or another one. <laughs> That'll be, that'll be a, uh, either a Holden or Ford motor. Alright, it's probably come from that one up the hill. Just see it through the so bushes there. HP, so it's probably, might be a 186 straight Holden block. Well, the rabbits or the kangaroos have absolutely gone nuts in here. Oh, there's actually, a, looks like an old foundation of a house or something down here. See the wood? And, uh, I might have to get the metal detector out down here. God, they've really been digging. It looks like a rabbit hole, that one. <laughs> Probably dig up a rabbit mound. Look at that, there's something down here. Jeez, the amount of rabbit holes. We'd be detecting down here, we'll pull a rabbit out of a hole. Well, I reckon there's been, just been parties happening out here. There's VB cans, Corona cans, Tenny's galore. Someone's had a fire right here. This would be actually a pretty sweet little hangout. <laughs> no one would know you down here. There's an old couch just there. It's been uh, destroyed. Yeah, massive fire pit there. I wonder if it's, if it's even worth getting the uh, metal detector out here because I know from experience I'll just be digging up beer cans. How about David Beckham deodorant? Oh, only the best. All right, well, I just went over the area with the detector didn't find much it's hard in these places because they're such tips you know you got beer bottles and stuff like that so yeah you know pretty unsuccessful down in the metal detector but i'm pretty wrapped to see those cars so um any old cars and stuff like that i love taking photos of and um yeah check them up on my instagram and youtube if you want to check out the photos um but yeah pretty uneventful day on the on the detector nothing but old horseshoe nails and uh we did find those little parts of the of uh of maybe that saddle again so two parts of the saddle so um, if you know what those parts are, then let me know because yeah, I'm always open to learning new stuff. Man, it's kind of bizarre down here. All the amount of holes. Look at these holes. I just saw a jet black kangaroo, like a wallaby. It just, it's so quick, man. It just took straight off up the hill. And I couldn't believe actually how quick it was moving. But yeah, look at this little, little area. You can see down there, there's actually like a little fence where there would have been, there's definitely like, you know, like a little driveway. But there was definitely something here. Look at these holes. And they're just, they're too in line to be, to be someone else's diggings. Whether someone else was digging around here, but yeah, it looks like there was something here once upon a time. Well, here we just started metal detecting this, these old foundations, getting a few readings, but look at the amount of nails I just found. <laughs> All stuck together, like from a nail gun or something. Unless that's how they came in packets. You wouldn't think these might pre-exist a nail gun, but uh, yeah, I reckon around here we're just gonna find heaps of nails again. Well, if you guys want nails, where are you guys? Because all we find <laughs> is nails. <laughs> Still going. I bet that's another nail. All right, well, nothing but bottle tops and nails there. Buddy, Tui's new bottle top. Who's drinking Tui's new in Victoria? God damn. That's, uh, 
we're gonna head up the hill here because Panda ran up the hill really quickly before and found some more cars. So yeah, there's cars everywhere around here. I can't oh, believe it. Just dumped everywhere. Dumped <laughs> everywhere. And, like this is obviously some sort of old foundation, and there's a dam right next to us here. So I mean, it could be worth coming back here at some point and having a look, but. Just nails, man. Oh, today I reckon we found about 15 nails. You can say we got nailed today. Oh, jeez. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the treasures you find. 12, 12 gauge. Shotgun shell. I can't say I've ever, uh, I've ever held a shotgun shell, to be honest. It's 12 gauge shotgun shell. Big boy. God knows how old that is, eh? I've been you a while. Yeah, I might bag that up. Well, here we go, more bush treasure. Damn, this is going to be a long video today. <laughs> People have been asking for longer videos, so here you go. <laughs> Man, there's a whole station wagon thing in it. Yeah. It's got barbed wire in it. <laughs> Late 60s, you reckon? Wow. Barbed wire. <laughs> Obviously, someone just rolled it straight down the hill. <laughs> there's another one just over to your right there. Have a look at this. What? The tech just turned on in my backpack. <laughs> there you go, it's missing the front end of it. It's crazy how they're just out here. I mean, like, what number of car is this we've found now? They've got to be over 10. Yeah. Fine. Just everywhere you look. Yeah, every, everywhere we sort of come out to a new clearing, we just find a new car. But, like, we, we've explored out here before looking for mines, so to, to have not stumbled across this is pretty amazing, to be honest. Alright, there's the back end of a Tirana. Where's the front end of it? <laughs> hey, someone's just taken it. Isn't that cool? Uh, maybe like a light blue colour. That's so cool. I wish the other half was there. <laughs> you can see, still, still see the old seatbelt. I should come to think of it. The seatbelts looked exactly the same as that in my, as in my grandpa's old Tirana. Exactly the same. Some more uh, bush junk here behind me. There's a lot of crap out here, but yeah, the cars are awesome. We can see an old paddock bomb all the way down in the paddock, just below us, in amongst some old thorn bushes. So if we can get to that, we'll uh, we'll give it a look. But yeah, we've been out here for about four hours now. <laughs> this is grass. Just in there's the paddock bomb right there. We're going to try and get through this field. God, we're so high up, man. This is so steep. The camera's not doing this justice. How steep this is. All right, well, there's the hill up there where we came from. And uh, there's the paddock bomb over here. This fence that's behind is actually somewhat newish, so it's obviously been in here longer than this fence has been here. <laughs> actually spotted quite a few deer prints in the mud around here. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of wildlife out here for sure. Damn, what the hell is that? Some kind of 90s or 80s yeah, definitely. It's been here for a while. The uh, Look how the, the thorn bush is actually starting to grow over it. Soon enough, I'm sure it'll be absolutely covered in uh, thorns. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Beer bottles and all in there. A couple of the amount of cars we found today. All right, well, I guess that's, uh, that's going to be the end of this journey through the bushland. That was grouse. I love finding all those cars. Yeah, that was really good. It doesn't matter if we, uh, if we only found bottle tops, nails, and Oh, we, I guess we found something there in the uh, part of that, maybe part of that um, horse saddle, but who knows. But uh, I mean, this, we probably found 10, 10 or so cars through this bush. That's great. So I, I love finding those cars. It's, the, the photos you can get out of them are sick. Yeah, oh, they've been fantastic. And they're all good variety of cars too. Yeah, so. big changer. All right, well, we're going to start heading back towards the car. We've got a couple, probably a K or so walk back. So um, yeah, check out Panda Explorers or Panda Garage. <laughs> Both the channels there, mate. Look at him. Make your mind up. But yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll leave a link below with all the details how you can help support the channel. Uh, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys on the next adventure. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> <That's>, uh... <laughs>